Assalamu alaikum, my name is uh, Muhammad Ali. Um, I'm really quite honored to be here in Chicago in Market Park as part of Iman's Taking It to the Streets 2010 Festival. This is my second visit here from the UK um, to Chicago. And really, it's quite an honor, really. And I must thank, first and foremost, the people of Chicago um, for really having me here and letting me be a part of this. Why I say I must thank the people is because I'm able, if I'm able to benefit and inspire people, inshallah, through the little efforts of spray painting, then that's a benefit to me as well in that I'm able to achieve something which is very important to me, which is shall I get reward that through some, I can't do much, I don't have much ability. You know, I'm not a scholar, I'm not, you know, someone that can, is, is very great with words. But what I can do is spray a bit of paint on a wall. Now, if that's something that can be turned into almost a form of benefit and ibadah even, and something that is calling to something which may inspire people, then alhamdulillah this makes me happy that I'm able to use my skill uh, for good. Spraying color on a wall and speaking to people that walk past through the use of color and arts, the visual arts, this is something I think we often neglect um, and I just personally enjoy traveling the different cities, different countries and showing people the power of the arts to transform our environment and spread a kind of a positive message. You know what, where I'm from in the UK, I see a lot of young people spending their time up to no good. I mean, it's a widespread problem. We have a problem with youthful stuff, period, right? Um, so we need to kind of work to try and change this. We need to inspire young people and embracing new mediums and ways of connecting. Graffiti being a, a very powerful medium which connects with people, connects with young people. We don't see art as something that can be beneficial for the soul, for our Iman even. But I think people may be pleasantly surprised of how the arts can transform a condition of a people. You know, especially kind of public art, because you're communicating to a mass audience here. So I, all I can do is advise anybody to not neglect or try to suppress their skills or suppress their uh, desire to want to create, be a creative. Like I did many years ago when I was young. And I know many people who do the same, who perhaps suppress that desire to want to paint or communicate creatively. But I, I would say, why, why should we do that? Rather, you know, we should encourage it. You know, we have many architects and doctors and teachers, yeah? And mashallah, that's beautiful, but we need graphic designers, we need photographers, we need visual artists to be entering the mainstream. You know, we live in a society where we engage with people of different faith, different culture. You know, we have media spotlight upon us and as a community, both here in the USA and where I'm from in the UK. So we need to think of alternative means and ways of reaching out and connecting communities. Kind of proof to show that one can express their faith as Muslims. It's not something we have to hide or kind of shy away from or, or not or pretend and change the way we are. Rather, we can freely express our faith as Muslims, being young Muslims in this society and embrace mediums like spray paint, like graffiti, you know, poetry, and whatever it might be, to express ourselves, you know, be who we are. We don't have to hide who we are, you know, with the kind of media onslaught where they show perhaps Muslims in a certain light or whatever. Rather, this should inspire us further to kind of be rooted in, in who we are as Muslims and learn our purpose in life, who our creator is, what is the purpose of existence, you know, and express ourselves and share a wider message to people and say, this is who I am, you know, it, despite the negativity going against the grain, we should be pushing against the tide really and saying, you know what, I'm Muslim and I'm proud to be Muslim. 